Hi guys, my name's Jenna, I'm from Wales and I've been teaching in China for four years. Today I'm going to take you in the day in my life. I usually wake up around six, but today I just really couldn't pull myself out of bed. I live in a traditional hutong, which is quite normal in Shanghai. As you can see, I exit through someone's kitchen. I really love living in a lane house. I really feel like living here, I'm part of Shanghai's history. Time to cycle to work. I bought my own bike and it only takes 12 minutes from my house to the school, which is a great ride. My journey to work is quite seamless and full of amazing scenery. For example, Jing'an Temple. As you can see, there are so many bikes on the road in Shanghai. It truly is a biker's paradise, but it can be a little bit dangerous. I feel like I've got used to it and maybe I'm doing as the Shanghainese do. The first thing I like to do in the morning is go to my favorite coffee shop, which is on the same street as my school. Okay. A lot of coffee shops in Shanghai have been doing the thing where if you bring your own cup, they'll give you a discount. So actually this coffee was only 10 yuan, which is just over one pound. I almost forgot to put my mask on, so quick break to put my mask on before we enter the school. School starts at around 7.30, so right now there's no children outside. Look how beautiful my school is. I actually work in a public school, but we have an international department, which is where I teach. So it's 8.07 and I've just got into the office and usually on a Tuesday, it's Tuesday today, I don't have any lessons for lesson one. So I would use this time to go through all of my piles of homework for my students. But today um, I'm going to be having a meeting with one of my students about his extended essay. So I messaged him earlier and I asked him if I could meet him at 8.10 instead of 8 because I wanted time to grab my coffee. So that's my morning so far. My first class of the morning is over, so I'm going back to my office to do some work. And you can see outside, it's time for morning exercise. Every day, the whole high school comes together to do exercise. This is so normal in China. Now it's lunchtime and I'm going to take you to the teacher's canteen. So the lunch isn't provided by the school. We have a card which we have to top up, but it's so cheap, like 13 RMB, which is just under two pound for this whole meal. This is a pretty standard lunch and it's quite tasty. So it's lunchtime at school and I'm sitting on the bench outside because as you can see, it's such a beautiful day. Maybe it's not a blue sky, but it's, the weather is really nice. And it's about 20 degrees, very autumnal. I went and had canteen lunch, um, which is normal and cheap. And then I went to get a coffee at the coffee shop down the street and this afternoon after lunch i've got a free lesson in which i will mark my students homework and then i've got two more esl classes so yeah i had a really busy morning actually which is unusual for tuesday but i'm looking forward to the rest of the day So 
it's 3.33 now and my classes are over. So luckily my classes end a little bit early on Tuesday. And I've still got some work to do because the midterms were last week, but I can do that work at home. So luckily my school is a little bit flexible and it means that I can go home early and chill. I really need to buy deodorant, so I'm stopping by one of my favorite import stores um, to buy some. You can see from the video, just from the window, how many foreign products they have. There's the deodorant that I like, including all of these toiletries and also so many like crisps and um, cereals and other things. So let's go inside. Oh, how is it? Tuna, tinned things, more tuna, some drinks like Gatorade, which is usually found here anyway, Dr. Pepper, which is not found, maybe LaCroix, how do you say that? I don't even have a clue. Some meat, some cheese. Wild freesia. What flavour do I want? Wild freesia, I think it's wild freesia. is really convenient in China. All you have to do is open your Alipay app or WeChat and they will scan it and that's that. Import stores, they're very pricey. some clothes on Taobao which is like the Chinese Amazon app or something and um, it was like a jacket, two pairs of jeans and a pair of trousers and I didn't like them. The trousers were too short, huge problem for me in China and the jackets I bought two similar ones and I wanted to see which one was the best so I didn't want it so I returned it and all you have to do is apply on the Taobao app for the return and then the delivery guy will come to your house and pick them up. So that's exactly what I just did. went to the market and we bought some ingredients for our dinner um, one of my friends is gonna come over for dinner tonight so I'm gonna make her some tofu potato aubergine and also some kind of spinach lettuce type thing so I'll keep you updated about how that goes we just found the flower man some guy who sells flowers from his motorbike so we're gonna go over there and we're gonna buy some flowers but we have to wait for all these trucks all this traffic to go past
This guy is everywhere, but the time that you want to buy flowers, you can never find him. So you have to just take the opportunity when it comes to you. So here's his flowers. Ni hao. I love eating Chinese food, so I wanted to learn how to make Chinese food. So I've learned some recipes from friends and some recipes offline. I think we did such a great job. All of our favorites, home cooked for us. After dinner, I just finished up some work and now it's time to go to bed. So that's it, a day in my life in Shanghai. Thank you for following guys.